We will talk about operating system basics, what you should know as an IT professional, and troubleshooting OS issues. Before we get started with the lesson, I want to ask if you know what operating system you have for your computer. So there's different kinds of operating systems that we will discuss in this lesson. Examples would be Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and iOS and Android for mobile phones. Before we dive deeper into the different operating systems, let's understand what operating system is first. Operating system is the most important software because it enables you to communicate with the computer hardware and it controls all the resources needed to operate the computer. Without an operating system, a hardware device is unusable. In this lesson and moving forward to your studies and career, I want you to start thinking like an admin and not a user, because admin does tasks differently than a regular user. Like how you add a user account on a computer. Admins have a different way to do it than a regular user. Let's now discuss the different operating systems. Let's get started with the commonly used in the workplace. The Windows operating system was developed by Microsoft and is the most popular OS because of the compatibility with a vast range of software and hardware. The majority of software applications are designed to run on Windows, making it easier to find and use the tools you need. There are different Windows editions that you should be familiar with, especially as an admin. It's important to understand these versions and know the features that will be applicable in your business setting. First, we have Windows Home, which is made for home users. It has basic features for home use. Next is Pro, which is made for professionals. It has additional advanced features like BitLocker and Hyper-V, which are needed for business settings. Last is the Enterprise version that is used by large businesses and has even more advanced features, including advanced threat protection and app locker. The main thing you have to remember for the different versions is that Home can't join the domain and BitLocker isn't available. Only Pro and Enterprise have the option, so if you have a new computer and you want it to join the domain, make sure you have the proper Windows version. Here's a quick hands-on activity to see what your Windows version is. So on Windows machines, an easy and quick way to check what version you have is by typing in this command. So on the search bar below, you can type Winver, and if you press enter, so a window will pop up and will show you what operating system you have. For example, Windows 11 for me and the version like 23H2. And down below here, you would see if you have a Home, Pro, Enterprise, and in my case, I have the Windows 11 Home. So this is a really quick way to just check and make sure that you have the proper version for your computer. Now let's move on to the next popular operating system. Mac OS is developed and marketed by Apple Incorporated and is the second most widely used desktop operating system. Mac OS is becoming popular because of its sleek user interface and they are known for being user friendly and more intuitive than Windows. Like Windows, Mac OS also has different versions and they were named after big cats and famous places in California. The latest version at the moment is Sonoma. Unlike Windows, Mac OS doesn't have different versions for home use and professional use. Mac OS is also preferred by a lot of software developers because of the built-in tools like a true command line interface and file system. Now let's move on to our next operating system, which is Linux. Unlike Windows and Mac OS, Linux is free and open source, and it's mostly used by technical people. It's also faster because it's lightweight, so it's most commonly used for servers. Linux has a diverse distribution based on the user needs. Each distribution can have its own goals, target audience, default software, and release cycle. This allows users to choose the distribution that fits their preferences and requirements. There's many different Linux distro and flavors, and Red Hat Enterprise Linux is a popular Linux distribution used in enterprise environments because of its stability, security, and support. Another one is Ubuntu, and it's a user-friendly distribution that comes with free software like LibreOffice, Firefox, and Thunderbird, and is known to be more secure than Windows. This is popular for people who want to learn Linux. 
The Linux operating system has many command line tools that can be used to perform a variety of tasks, such as displaying information about files and directories, accessing remote systems, and managing complex tasks. Here are some common commands that are used in Linux. Linux are not common for users in the workplace, but more commonly used for servers because they're open source, so they're cost effective and they're flexible because they can be configured to perform at its best. Aside from computers, we also support mobile phones at work, so it's also good to learn about the different mobile operating systems. First, we have Android, which is an open source mobile operating system developed by Google and is widely used across a variety of devices. They also have different versions and their names are after a dessert or a sweet. Then we have the iOS, which is created by Apple for its products. It is designed to have an intuitive user experience. These are the versions for iOS and the latest at the moment is 17.